Hey guys, Sully here. We're almost done building our grenade three wood. So right now what we need to do is actually measure for length. And this is probably the most common question I'm asked other than why the grenade performs how it does. Is how do you measure your golf club and what length is your actual golf club you're playing currently? We're just gonna measure our three wood we just built. We've got two different ways to do it. Um, for most guys, I won't have a bench top ruler. I'll show you the other method as well, but this is nice. Set this up, make sure your lie angle is as close to po perfect as possible. Right, this one's 42 and a half, so we're gonna measure 42 and a half, and we're gonna do an eighth under. There you go. Easiest way to think of it, as if you're in a playing position. So just as if you're holding the club to actually hit it, I like to think about it as a 45 degree angle with the ground. And you have to make sure your meter stick or your tape measure, whatever you use, is completely flush. And underneath, that's the key right here, if you can see that on camera. You want to make sure, let's see, you want to make sure you're completely underneath as if a line is going through the ground. A lot of guys will measure up high on the hosel or the ferrule, and that's the incorrect way to do it. So just kind of slide it up. A trick for me, at my height, I just put it on my actual belt, and we'll, that'll be at roughly 45 degrees or in play position. And then you'll actually mark your length there. Flush with the ground underneath. And you measure up to length. There you go. Let me zoom out. So guys at home, curious how to measure your own golf club or golf driver? That's one way to do it if you don't have an actual tabletop ruler as well. So easiest way to think about it, hold it as if you're playing the club or at a 45 degree angle to the ground. And you want to mark 1 8 inch under your desired length.